folks, uh, it is Sunday, um, July 14th. Um, these are my keats, my guinea hens. Actually, I don't know if they're hens or whatever you call a boy, because they all look exactly the same to me. Um, I just released, just opened up the gate. Yeah, pretty yucky in there. Um, so these are my baby chicks. One, two, three, four, five, right there. Those are them. And they are, they look almost big, but when you put, put them next to their mother, they don't. So I just released them. I'm hoping that the big rooster here, uh-oh, he's about to go in and see them, is not going to eat them. Oh, so far he's doing okay. But um, I don't want to keep them in there forever, but I was afraid to let them out when they were little. But now I've read that people do it both ways, but... There are advantages and disadvantages because the little, the little baby chickens don't have the protection. Well, see, mom is coming over and nobody's getting mad at them. So look, I should have done this a while ago. Whoops. Whoops, look. Mom is getting, yeah, that was not expected. Well, maybe it was. Um, she hasn't been with the rooster for a while. So she was like, hey, what are you doing? Um, so see, these guys are smaller, but they're getting big. I don't want to waste... The space, I was going to go get another chicken coop for these guys, but, you know, I should let them frolic with the rest of the, the bunch of them, you know. We'll see how it goes. But there are the guinea hens. I think I got them in May, so they grow pretty fast. They're not disgustingly ugly. They don't have the most beautiful heads, but their bodies are kind of pretty. So, see, everybody's getting along. The rooster seems to be fine with the guinea hens. It's funny because he doesn't seem to like the ducks at all. No, he's not too friendly with the ducks. But So there's, I think that's mommy. Wait, is that mommy? There's two black hens. So now that I've separated, oh, she looks better because the other hen has some missing back feathers. So that's the mommy right there. And somebody just did something to somebody. But see, they just run away. I think they all have to learn how to get along, you know. So hopefully nobody mutilates them. She's not totally stuck to them either. They're going over to her though, looks like. And one of the chickens, one of the little chicks or small chickens is still in the, the big caged in area. So I got to clean out that big caged in area. It's kind of gross. So there they are. They seem pretty happy. I think it'll be nice for them to get more varied diet. Let's see how these guys get along here. There's another chicken over there with them. Oh, see, that's the other black one. The black one, that's the bl black one that was hatched by this black chicken last year. So that's her actual, her baby from last summer. And these are her sisters, siblings, brothers, sisters, whatever they are. Yeah, this, this little, looks like cuckoo marin chick. Doesn't know what it's doing. It's like, how did you guys get out there? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to kind of bang it. Not bang the bird, but bang the cage so she can... It's okay. You can stay with Mama. So, hey, girl, you want me to come in there? Or maybe boy, who knows? If I follow her, that's how I get people to move. It's like herding chickens, you know? If I go this way... And, ugh, this is gross. Um, go, chicky, go, 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 go. Psh, psh. You have to come around the other way. Ugh, this is really nasty. I'm afraid I'm going to fall in this nastiness. So, I don't know what to do. I think scrape off the top layer of guck in there and maybe throw down some... I don't know. What do people do? Wood chips. It just gets very muddy in there. Muddy and poopy. So, yeah. Um, there's Red. She's one of my oldest chickens. She's looking pretty fine. And there's the baby black chicken from last year, not the mommy. And there's one of her little siblings running around. I think they like it. I think they like being outside. But this, this one is beautiful. They're all, the baby chicks are just so pretty this year. Two of them are definitely this breed, the Cuckoo Marin, or at least half that. Uh-oh. Oh, it's okay. Come around. Come this way. You have to go around. See, they're freaking out because they can't get around. But the, the teats don't seem to be bothering them. They're just looking at them like, what's wrong with you? Let's not get a picture of anybody attacking anybody. That would be... Hey! Hey, okay. All right, let's let you guys out. Hey, hey, no. Okay, so maybe it's... 
They have to get used to it, but I'm going to help them out a little. Okay, I'm turning the camera off because I don't want to videotape them being attacked. That's not good. But for the most part, they can get away. See, they just got away, but now they're getting confused by the door. They're not too keen on these things. All right, go around. Go around. You can go around. Oh, little chicken, there you go. There she goes. So maybe she's calling them. Let's see, see? I think they'll be okay, hopefully. They are getting pretty big. They look like chickens. They just look like mini chickens, and they're not mini chickens. They're just still babies. But see, if I show you, go this way. Go this way, chicken. Yeah, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to try to show you where the door is. There you go. See? Uh huh. So this is the cuckoo marin, one of the cuckoo marins. I have two cuckoo marins. And two of the baby chicks look just like that. So I'm assuming that one is one of the Cuckoo Marin's babies and one is the other Cuckoo Marin's babies. But it's so cool that the chicken who goes broody will watch over everybody else's babies and raise them as her own. It's so cute. And I don't like videotaping through the cage because it makes the cage the thing that I'm focusing on. But there we go. Yes, it's lovely. So let's go over here. We can see our friend, um, yeah, I keep saying I'm going to turn off the camera, and I don't. There's my beautiful, beautiful rooster. I love him. I call him Black Beauty. He's just gorgeous. Look at him. Oh, my God, the colors, the golds, the blues, the greens. Oh, he's gorgeous. I love him. And here's a little sister, big sister, big sister chicken, hanging out with Ross, who's all alone still. And he makes a mess of his cage in one day. I just cleaned this yesterday, believe it or not believe it because I did um but yeah I need to find a little house for him or something because the cage didn't work out so well for the girls um but he's doing well but he's probably lonely I need to get other ducks a couple anyway all right so here we are this is what's going on at the farm today hey be nice please yeah okay so the Keats and the chickens, maybe not so great together. There you go. But they're not vicious, vicious. They just kind of poke them. So if I see any serious viciousness, I'll separate. So, so here are the bun buns. This is Sam. This is, I think we're calling her Tinsel in her new home. Yep, she likes to thump. Maybe we should call her Thumper. And this is beautiful. Look at her. Beautiful Ginger. Looking very lush and beautiful. I have to cut her nails still. But she has some serious nails, nails issues. So, so yeah, here's my scratched up arm from the other day. And some more scratched up arm from the other day. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. This is my one I need to trim badly. He's 100% English. And if you're not great at doing your chores all the time and on time and all the time, I recommend not getting 100% English rabbits because they are a nightmare. This is Dean or Sam or Dean or whatever. He's got a little white dot. He's got the Vienna marking. So he carries the blue-eyed white gene. And that last bunny we saw was a blue-eyed white. But he's such a mess. I have to get him fixed up. And this is Sam and Dean's mommy. This is Ursula. And she's a sweetheart. And she's in pretty good shape. I really need to get the white one better. I feel bad. So, here's the day, July 14th at, at Starry-Eyed Farm, and we're going to sign out looking at our lovely Keats. Have a great day, everybody.